Hi, I'm John Kuhn, and this is Inside Vidalia Athletics, a brand new feature for the Vidalia High School YouTube page. We will be taking a look and talking to former and current athletes, coaches, and the people that make the Vidalia Athletic Program work. Well, first of all, thank you. It's been a long time since you and I have been able to sit down. You're, you're a busy guy these days. Appreciate you coming by and giving us a few minutes of your time. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. So, since you've gone and left here um, two years ago, your journey has been uh, a, a very positive one. Uh, freshman all-conference, um, freshman all-tournament team. This year, your all-conference, all-tournament team. How's this ride been for you? Um, it's been awesome. It's been uh, it's been really fun. I, I mean, I worked really hard for it. So just to kind of see it see it all lay out and kind of kind of me get rewarded for the work that I put in, it's been it's been really fun. It's, there's been struggles at times. I mean, it's kind of it's, it's all about staying staying the course. So it's been it's been fun. Though. When you when you get there last year and and you go in in the summer and you go in in the fall, they completely revamp your swing from what we saw. Mm -hmm. What kind of experience was that for you? Um, so, I mean, here at the high school level, I mean, thinking back, I mean, two years ago, it was uh, my swing, it had it had kind of some holes in it. And when I got up there, I mean, they fixed it. My freshman fall was, I mean, they, it was it, it wasn't the best. So they got they kind of got me a leg kick. They revamped my whole swing. I mean, it was a tough process. I mean, that fall was the really first time that I'd struggled over a over a month period. And so I was like, man, I got to change something up. And they got in the cage with me all all winter of my freshman year. And it kind of Got my swing rolling, and pre-spring came, and it's kind of it's been rolling ever since. So all the credits to them, though, for that. And 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 you got a lot of power out of that swing, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, third in home runs last year. Again this year, you're right there at the top. Um, what what was the difference in that swing and the one that we saw? Um, I mean, the one here was kind of short stride. It was real. It was real uphill. So I mean, when I hit it, it was it was good. But I mean, it was a my path wasn't on, and so they kind of got me a leg kick, made me keep my head still. And uh, it just helps me see the ball longer and keeps my swing plane, I mean, really flat. And so I get to hit balls that I didn't hit before really well. So it's kind of put me in a good spot. What's the difference in, in high school and college? I mean, obviously the pitching, but. Um, the pitching's different. I mean, and the, and the work's different, honestly. I mean, you, you get up there and it's the practices are four to five hours. I mean, you work out two hours in the morning, four hour practice after class, wake or go to sleep, wake up, do it again. I mean, it's just a routine you got to get into. A lot of weightlifting too? A lot of lifts, yeah. We got, uh, so in the fall, it's it's a bunch. It's probably get there at six, in with weights around 7.15, get breakfast, class from about eight to 2.30, and then practice from about three to seven. And then it's kind of eat, go to sleep, do it again. You know, last year you didn't even get, get time to really get used to what's going on. You played it, you started it. 54, 58 mm -hmm. games last year. Yes, sir. How, how was that mentally for you? Um, so, I mean, the first game, obviously, I didn't start. And so, I mean, I, obviously, I've never been one that, that didn't want to be on the field. So, I kind of was itching to get out there. And then I got the chance, and I kind of – I made the most of it. And he just – he rode me out. He kind of – he let me struggle a little bit, let me fight through it. And then I got rolling, and then here we are. Talking about struggles, this year – you hit the sophomore jinx. Mm -hmm. You go 0 for 23 yeah, to start crazy. something crazy like that to start the the year. Walk us through that and walk us through that process. Um, well, obviously, I mean, I had a really good freshman year, and so everybody, I was kind of circled on everybody's board when we were we were playing against them, and so I was kind of I was getting the best pitch sequence each guy had, and which uh, and I just kind of it, it put me in a little hole, and when I got down, I was trying to swing kind of swing my way out of it, and so I just had to kind of stay level headed. And then, uh, I mean, I got back to work. I mean, just stayed on it, stayed on it, stayed on it. I mean, it took one good game, and I bounced out of it and, and finished kind of at the beginning of the year where I would have started. So, I mean, if if I would have if I wouldn't have struggled, it could have been a really, really, really crazy good year. But I mean, I kind of got back going the way I needed to. Did did at times you get discouraged about it, or or, or was it a you knew that it was just a process of working through it? No, I mean, I knew it was a process of working through it. Obviously, I mean. It, it, in season like that, that was kind of one of the first times that I struggled over that stretch. But I mean, in baseball is one of those games you can't you can't ever get too buried, or the game will bear you itself. So I mean, that's kind of you got to stay. It's like you got to you can't ride the highs, you can't ride the lows. You kind of just got to stay even. You finish up thirty three seventeen, uh, seventy one seventy two RBIs, uh, twenty one home runs. Uh, obviously, something clicked in there at that point. Oh yeah, I mean it. And when I the Seton Hall game, I think I I got one out of the park, and then I got another one and another one. So I mean, I kind of was getting that groove back, and then it took that one good game, and then the confidence came back, and then I when I stepped on the field, it was just kind of it was go time from there. 
did did uh, they start pitching you different once you started uh, getting out of that slump? Um, yeah, I mean, I started seeing everybody's best stuff, which I mean, I already was, but I mean, once I kind of got back going, it was like it was heavy off speed early, fastball late. So they're kind of trying to mix it up. I mean, once my timing was down, I kind of could pick up the off speed and eliminate that, and then they started back having to throw a fastball. So I mean, that's the that's kind of my mo. Like I try to get a fastball and hit as far as I can. <laughs> as as somebody that started in a like we said in a slump, if you will, or just a bad stretch. You end up with 71, 72 RBIs. You're just the ninth player in Mercer's history to be able to do that. First one since like 2016. Oh yeah. That that's that's got to be that's got to be not only encouraging, but boy, I tell you that that's a that's a big badge for you to wear, isn't it? Oh yeah, it was awesome, man. Especially when the names that are, that are on that list are all big time pro guys. I mean, Kyle Lewis was a first rounder uh, back in 2016, and that was the kind of the year he hit. He hit 72, and I got 71 this year, and so. I just kind of think back, I mean, even with the struggle, I mean, I wish I wouldn't have, obviously, because, you know, it could have been a really, it could have been a record year. I mean, it still was, but at the same time, next year going into it, I got to just st stay level-headed and just try to do what I do and try to try to get that mark. I try to want to climb each year. So, I mean, I kind of, next year, my goal will be to get 80. And so that's kind of where I'm at. Talk to me about the conference tournament. That The ball must have seemed that big to you because every game that I watched you in that conference tournament, it was like you were on every pitch. Yeah, I mean, it was it was obviously I want to be the I want to be my best when the when the best is needed. And that's uh, the conference tournament. I knew we were going in as a, as a lower seed and we had to it was going to be a gauntlet to kind of get out of it. But I mean, we had to get going. And so I was like, all right, here we go. Let's, let's kind of turn it up for this. I mean, and they were I was getting pitches to hit and my swing felt the best it's ever felt. I mean, so fastballs, I was getting fastballs. If off speed was thrown in the zone, I was hitting off speed. So I mean, it was just, it was fun. It was awesome. I wish I could have kept playing. Yeah, you, you guys were that close oh, to man. going to the oh, going man. to the postseason and and getting in uh, the round of 32. So, uh, what is with everybody coming back next year, and obviously, hopefully, some more pitching coming back. That that sets up a pretty good year for you next year. Huh? Oh yeah, we got. I mean, starting pitcher, we got Colton Cosper coming back, Jess coming back. So we got two weekend arms coming back. The two that were hurt that hurt us really bad this year, they're going to be back. I mean, so and we got some key pieces. If they if they don't end up in professional baseball after this summer, we got our shortstop coming back, first baseman coming back, uh, big time freshman we had last year from Savannah. He's coming back. So I mean, then we got some key some key transfers that'll be back. So it'll be. I feel like it'll be a good it'll be a good squad. Talking about professional, you're about to leave in the next day or two. In fact, tomorrow, mm -hmm. you're you're about to head out to uh, the New England area to go to Cape Cod League. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. I, um, I signed a contract back in the fall, and uh, it's it's one of the it's the best college baseball league in the country. So it's about the it's about the top 150 200 prospects up there just grinding it out for a whole summer. So it'll be it'll be awesome. Who's your team? Where will you be staying? And and uh, where can we catch the games? Uh, I'll be playing for the Chatham Anglers, and I'll be staying with a host family up there in Chatham, Massachusetts. And uh, I think the games are streamed on Cape Cod Baseball Network. If I if, if I'm correct on that, I think I can I can probably blast the link out and get it shared. Y'all can tune in. Yeah, well, everybody wants to follow what's going on, especially in that situation. So you leave here, you're a state champion. You go out as as a state champion. Um, you, you rise to the freshman, and now to the to the sophomore accolades for somebody who's wanting to do this what is your advice and what, what would you have them do uh, i mean stay at it stay on the grind i mean don't never get too high never get too low i mean you could you could be the best player on the field for for a month straight i mean and there's still somebody out there that's trying to get your job i mean and that's kind of that's kind of the nature of the beast i mean it's 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 everybody in the country competing all for that same dream of everybody's dream out here is to play professional baseball. I mean, you grow up, you play baseball, everybody wants to be on the big, in the big leagues on the big show. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta stay at it. You can't never ride the highs and lows. I mean, if you would have told me leaving here that I would have been able to put myself in this spot after my sophomore year, I mean, I'd have, I wouldn't have been too surprised because I mean, I knew the work that I put in. And so, uh, I mean, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta try to outwork everybody else. That's kind of where, what it all comes down to. If you think you're doing enough, you're not. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. Somebody else is out there doing more and trying to trying to take your job, no matter if it's in the future, present. I mean, out there in college, the big leagues, anywhere. Somebody's out there trying to get it. So you got to stay at it. So on top of baseball, you got to figure out a couple of things. Your education, obviously. Mm -hmm. You're a kinesiology major. 
Still hadn't figured that one out. What, change, what, are, what are we doing? Change kinesiology. Okay. Now business. Now okay, business. now business. Okay. Because I was never figuring that out. I didn't know where you yeah. were going with that. Yeah. So we're in business now. What about NIL? I mean, that that's that's a huge thing now. It is. It's a it's a it's a big pot and it's uh it's it's a crazy thing to kind of you've got to kind of brand yourself, which I think I've done a pretty good job on, on social media. You've got to kind of brand yourself so you get these companies and these these other people, whether it's now or in the future, I mean, you just kind of, it's all about connection. So you connect with this company here, say you got a little NIL now. I mean, in five years down the road, they want you to come work for them. I mean, hey, I had an NIL deal back with y'all in 2024. So that's kind of, it's all about branding and connecting to who you know. What do you miss about being in high school and at college? Um, obviously, I miss my boys in high school. I mean, those, those are my best friends. I grew up with them my whole life, playing ball with them. That's kind of the difference. I mean, college, especially with the transfer portal now, I'll have a set of 30 new teammates, and we got a, just a year to bond and a year to, to chemistry. And then and out here, I mean, it was – I mean, we grew up playing from eight years old until we were 18, and we ended up on top. And that's kind of what made the, the high school baseball journey so fun is you got to work with the ones you've been with your whole life. And college is just like – all right, what's up, bro? I'll meet you in August and then May. All right, I'll see you. Good to know you. That's just kind of how it goes. Speaking of the portal, I wasn't going to ask you, but you brought it up. So are, are we looking? Are we entertaining offers? Are we Where are we at? Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it out. I'm going to stay at Mercer. I think they, uh, they're they going to take care of me there, and I think I'm comfortable. They put me in the best spot, obviously, to, uh, to be successful because, I mean, next summer is my big dream. Next summer is 2025 draft. I mean, that's what I've been chasing since I was eight years old, and I think me being there, and uh, being able to put up some numbers there and stay kind of where I'm at and just kind of keep slowly progressing. And uh, I think that's, a, that's the plan. Before we wrap this up, obviously you were a heck of a basketball player. You're all-state basketball player. You know, you go to the, the, the finals, you know, um, all-region player of the year, all those accolades. When did you decide you were going to do baseball instead of basketball? <sighs> I guess I guess COVID around COVID, me and my dad kind of had to had to have the conversation. I mean, because obviously it's hard; it's really hard to do both. And I, I mean, I love basketball still to this day. Like I go to all the games at Mercer. I mean, just the atmosphere of everybody being on top of you, everybody screaming when you hit the three. That's just kind of that's kind of why I love playing like the conference tournament, those big games. It's just the adrenaline rush that basketball gives. It's hard to get anywhere else. But uh, we had the conversation my junior year. And we kind of laid it out, and I and I knew I wanted to play professional, whatever it is, basketball, baseball, and I knew the best shot at that is kind of probably going to be baseball, and so I kind of stuck with it, and then uh, I got pretty good at it late, and then uh, signed with Arthur, so here we are. That's awesome. What a ride, man. What a That's ride. Awesome. So let's wrap this up with a little uh, what I like to call quick hitters. You ready? Okay. All right. Uh, favorite food? Mm, steak. Favorite car? Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco, there Ford you Bronco. go. Yeah, they still got it, don't still you? Still there. Yeah. Still there. I see your dad driving around oh, every yeah. now and then. Oh, yeah. um, professional or college to watch? College. NBA, NBA or college? Mm, basketball? Yeah. Uh, big Duke basketball fan. I love Duke basketball. And then uh, in the NBA, probably the Miami Heat. Always been a Heat fan. NFL or college? Love college. College for sure. Uh, major League or college? Oh, well, I hope I get major league for sure. That's the, yeah. I'll be, well, I mean, college baseball now, watching it. I mean, if, if you're watching the conference conference tournaments and everything, the atmosphere of college baseball right now is at an all-time high, so it's really fun to watch and be a part of. So, But, I mean, major league in the end goal. Big steak or a lot of seafood? Big ribeye, big steak, big steak. What is your dream position when it's all over with? Like in baseball, like dream position? I mean, my dream would obviously be to play to play right field or first base for the Atlanta Braves. So, I mean, everybody in the hometown can come watch me play. That, that'd be the overall dream. And then when it's all said and done and you're retired, you're you're my age and you're getting ready to retire. I mean, I want to give back. I mean, that's kind of the big thing I'm at. I mean, I've got a lot of knowledge from from my coaches here and in college and then hopefully at the next level too. I mean, I want to, I want to pour that back into people like everybody did to me. I want to make a kid great like everybody tried to make me. And that's kind of... That's what I want to do. Whether it's here, I'd love for it to be here. I mean, I grew up in Indian. I'd love to stay one and come back and, and pour into everyone here that the way that everybody poured into me. Continued success, my friend. Yes, We're sir. proud of you. Thanks, Thanks for sir. dropping by. Yes, sir. Thank you.